Good evening everybody, hope you are doing well. As I mentioned previously on the Facebook page that this channel has two main objectives. First, it provides weekly videos to people who have the desire and inquisitiveness to learn English. Uh, it provides videos for beginners. The second objective is that uh, it allows for a space where uh, communication and some online professional development can take place. Uh, it provides videos for teachers about certain issues related to English language teaching and learning and uh, it triggers online discussion and uh, professional development. Today we are going to venture into psychology. I am going to provide you a short account for multiple intelligences theory. The, the outline of this presentation is as follows. First I give a general background. I talk about the concepts of intelligence. I talk about Howard Gardner then I talk about multiple intelligences and provide some examples of each particular intelligence then I conclude with pedagogical applications in Moroccan context well a lot of parents teachers students and educators um, perceive the problem to be uh, related to the way teaching and learning uh, take place and uh, a lot of institutions uh, seem to to serve only a little amount of students because uh, educational policy of so many educational institutions uh, does not take into account individual differences and does not take into account the fact that uh, people have different learning styles and and uh, there is an overwhelming body of research that shows this problem now researchers uh, who observed classrooms found that uh, so many students uh, did well on certain activities on certain tasks while they faced uh, so many challenges uh, uh, on other tasks and other activities generally speaking this is uh, uh, related to the concepts of intelligence and intelligence is uh, basically a, a psychological concept that is related to learning and how people perceive the world and uh, a lot of educators now base their decisions upon the person's intelligence. There is what we call IQ. This is uh, uh, the acronym of uh, Intelligent Quotient. And uh, it is measured and assessed by a test, a psychometric test called Stanford Bennett, which was developed in Stanford University in the United States. However, uh, Howard Gardner, the American psychologist, uh, challenged this assumption. In 1973, Howard Gardner provided a theory called multiple intelligences and uh, he holds the assumption that people have different cognitive uh, capacities which he labels intelligences he assumes that there is no single unchanged intelligence but rather people have different intelligences different cognitive abilities and um, as you can see uh, on the video uh, Gardner has so many books talks over uh, intelligence and multiple intelligences for example the arts and the human development 1973 to open minds 1989 
multiple intelligences 1993 the unschooled mind uh, 2004 and the last one is very useful for teachers who want to talk about the pedagogical feasibility of the theory in terms of language teaching language learning and language assessment it is very useful and it provides uh, a lot of insights a lot of guidelines on how to apply the theory and the things that should be taken into account when designing instruction and assessment so now the question is what are multiple intelligences the first intelligence is linguistic linguistic intelligence and this simply refers to the ability of the person to use language to express him or herself efficiently uh, the ability to discuss the ability to convince other people the ability to persuade to explain to clarify ideas examples of um, people with linguistic intelligence are teachers public speakers professors uh, journalists poets editors lawyers the second kind of intelligence is mathematical logical and uh, people with this kind of intelligence can think deductively and think logically they can easily understand scientific and numerical patterns they can use logic to solve problems and they are able to deal with numbers uh, examples of people with mathematical logical intelligence are analysts, bankers, computer programmers, quantitative researchers, scientists, and there are a lot of examples. The third kind of intelligence is spatial intelligence, and uh, people with this intelligence have the ability to create mental images, um, to visualize things, to create mental representations of um, objects and other things um, people with this intelligence are architects graphic designers cartographers city planners sculptors another type of intelligence musical intelligence and people with this intelligence um, can understand uh, music can recognize musical patterns uh, can compose uh, musical patterns um, can feel the music can sing uh, for example uh, acoustic engineers DJs composers uh, music producers voice coaches singers uh, uh, bodily kinesthetic intelligence uh, people with this intelligence have uh, the capacity to use the body to perform things um, for example physical education teachers athletes dancers sign language interpreters they can use their hands physical therapists people with uh, who can understand how the body works and can help people can train them for example when someone uh, breaks his or her leg they have they might have problem uh, problems with uh, walking and it might be permanent problem but if they go to a physical therapist they can help them uh, with the, the training they help them with training their leg and they can easily uh, get the, the ability to walk back interpersonal intelligence and people with this kind of intelligence have the ability to um, understand and discern the feelings and the intentions of others uh, they can easily uh, understand what others want for example educators 
they can understand what the teachers or what students want for example within a certain language program counselors uh, politicians uh, sales people uh, coaches and mentors trainers um, psychologists intrapersonal intelligence uh, this means uh, the capacity to understand one's own feelings and emotions and uh, people with this kind of intelligence are self-aware and involved in the process of changing personal ideas thoughts and beliefs and uh, they are able to understand their uh, motivations and they can easily design and plan their objectives naturalist intelligence um, this simply means uh, understanding nature and uh, people with this intelligence uh, can easily uh, discriminate among living things like uh, plants animals they can identify and categorize rocks for example know about clouds know about the sky the earth uh, land uh, they can understand about forest and everything uh, related to nature for example tree surgeons gardeners vets hunters uh, farmers environmental scientists people who can understand and can uh, heal environment now i talk about pedagogical implications and uh, applications in moroccan context um, as teachers uh, be them in service teachers or pre-service teachers how can we implement multiple intelligence theory in Moroccan classroom? Uh, the multiple intelligences theory state that all the eight intelligences are equally important and uh, for that matter um, what can be implied here is that uh, um, that instructional practice must be designed in a way that accommodates all the differences um, this means that um, as curriculum activities for example should vary and include all the intelligences and target all the intelligences for example uh, listen plans must be designed in a way that uh, uh, incorporate uh, different activities that target different learners with different uh, learning skills um, and uh, also teachers have to vary in terms of the approaches the use for example teaching grammar should not be restricted to the deductive approach but rather uh, using other approaches like the inductive approach like using text to teach grammar like uh, using for example uh, m musical lyrics to teach grammar there are a lot of approaches and teachers can uh, adopt a particular approach um, on the basis of the kind of learners they have um, in terms of assessment uh, there should be a shift from paper pencil uh, measurement techniques to performance based assessment because uh, a paper test measurement assess uh, and measures only the extent to which a goal has been achieved but it doesn't uh, measure uh, the extent to which the, the, the student is able to apply uh, what he or she has learned and how he or she can do that so I believe that the performance based assessment can uh, develop learners skills 
and develop their intelligences if teachers are able to identify each single student's intelligence or intelligences and provide a performance-based assessment that matches the intelligence of the students there is a, a, a huge possibility that the student will develop uh, and uh, be able to perform well in the target language context in terms of the activities um, teachers can draw on uh, a number of activities uh, but before this there should be a shift from teacher centeredness to a more learner centered approach and actually there are a lot of um, activities teachers can use for example classroom discussions uh, um, the use of pictures to target students with spatial intelligence and uh, visual le learning style uh, the use of graphs, the use of maps, the use of games, uh, portfolios, uh, presentations and interviews, uh, projects for example, uh, the use of music or music lyrics to target students with musical intelligence. Teachers have to try to involve students in uh, activities that require critical thinking and higher order thinking skills 